what's good and what's mobbing, man. I had a really good um, Bible study last night, man. The mob got together and um, we're in the book of John and it was just really insightful, really, really um, the depth of it. And John is, a, you know, it, it, you know, and somebody else said this, as you, as you learn and go and, and you read a, 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 a the Bible and you read different verses and then, you know, you circle back as time goes on and you read it again. It just constantly there's more revelation and just the way that the Bible unfolds and continues to um, <clears throat> grow. But these revelations aren't contradictions, uh, but uh, just kind of um, they're like levels up. So it's like you could think that a verse means one thing um, and you're right. But then you read it again and find out that not only were you right, uh, um, but there was so much more uh, uh, that you were lacking in it. And uh, it's just it's hard to explain, but I know you guys know what I mean. But it was really good uh, group. Um, I love the mob, man. I love the accountability. I love the, the openness. I love um, the commitment, man. So, you know, I'm blessed and I pray that everybody has a ministry that's like that. You know what I mean? That, that the circle that you're around is, is edifying and building and, and you can be you, you can be open. You can discuss real life topics that it's not some, you know, frozen chosen type ministry where you just sit there and pretend that it's good. And everybody speaks these, you know, the lovely word of God. Um, but without, really dissecting it or seeing how it applied to your life or how it's activated um, or where you need correction even. So, you know, I'm blessed for that. But let's get into today's word before I get all long-winded. You know how I get sometimes, man. I want y'all, you know, uh, swiping left or right. Or, you know what I'm saying? So December 14th, devotion. Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be uh, given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will the door will open to you. Um, for lack of better words, it's kind of one of those ABC verses. Um, and I don't mean that to say that it's basic or meaningless. Um, I want to disrespect any scripture like that. I simply mean that even non-believers um, have heard this verse before. Like, I mean, even they can recognize it and quote it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what I love about this verse and why I bring it up is um, it's a stark reminder for action. Uh, we must activate our faith. We have to engage in this relationship, you know, and everything about this walk and our relationship with God demands that we are involved, not just like merely some spectators or, or watching from, um, you know, the bleachers, so to speak. You know, I once read somewhere that asking suggests dependence, seeking suggests yearning and knocking suggests persistence. And, and it makes sense because as a believer, I'm dependent and I'm constantly yearning in the fire won't allow me to stop knocking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to overcomplicate today's verse. Um, I, I will simply say being a Christian involves activity. Having a relationship with God calls for action. Not once, not just today, but repeatedly throughout the day, every day for the rest of our lives. So the question is, what are you asking for? What are you seeking and what are you knocking for? And don't let today go by without answering that question.